Good morning. It's good to see you this morning. Wanted to share a word uh, with you from Luke chapter 8, verses 5 through 8. <clears throat> a farmer went out to plant his seed. As he scattered it across his field, some seed fell on a footpath where it was stepped on and the birds ate it. Other seed fell among the rocks. It began to grow, but the plant soon wilted and died for lack of moisture. <clears throat> Other seed fell among thorns that grew up with it and choked out the tender plants. Still, other seed fell on fertile soil. This seed grew and produced a crop that was a hundred times as much as had been planted. Seed sower or soil tester? That's a choice that I have to make each day. I have to decide whether I'm going to be a soil tester or a seed sower. They are radically different in their approach to the gospel. You see, the <clears throat> soil tester is the person who goes around and tries to decide what kind of soil the seed is going to be received in. They're the ones that go around and try to discern, well, is this person going to be too concerned about the cares of the world and it's going to choke this seed out? Is this person going to be so hard-hearted like the path that's packed down that the seed won't even have a chance to take root and grow? <clears throat> Soil tester looks at somebody and says, oh, well, this person, they're going to flame out. They'll be on fire for a little while and then they're done. Or look at a person and say, I think this is the right person. This is good soil. I'm going to share the seed here. That's what the soil tester does. The seed sower is different. The seed sower has a different perspective. They're focused on the seed, not the soil. The seed sower <clears throat> wonders how powerful is this seed? Is this seed capable of producing something wonderful? Is this seed powerful enough to determine which soil it's going to grow in? Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 says, For the word of God is living and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intentions of the heart. I mean, let's just be honest. I'm a terrible soil tester because there's some people that I look at and think, uh, they're not going to respond to the gospel and I'm wrong. And then other people that I think, oh, this person is going to be a strong believer. And I'm wrong. I'm a terrible soil tester, and so are you. The only one who's really a good soil tester is God Almighty. We're not supposed to be soil testers. We're supposed to be seed sowers. To focus on the seed. How powerful is this seed? Well, look what it's done in my life. Can this seed make a difference? Oh, you bet. Can this seed discern the difference? Oh, yeah. I need to stop focusing on the soil and start focusing on the seed. Now, you may be thinking, well, that's great. But right now, I'm locked up in this house. I'm isolated. I can't get out. Eh, that's true. But you still have plenty of opportunity to sow the seed. Whether it's online, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Whether it's doing it the old-fashioned way and hitting a button and actually talking into this thing whether it's at six foot distances saying, God bless you. Thank you for being here. 
Thank you for serving. Thank you for putting your health on the line to be a healthcare professional to take care of us or a first responder to take care of us or even a grocery store clerk, a Walmart checkout person who are there to meet a need in the midst of crisis. We can still be seed sowers. We just need to be focused on the seed, not the soil. Let me pray for you. God, today, help me to see the ways that I can sow this seed, this powerful message of the gospel. Make me stop trying to be a soil tester. I don't need to determine whether a person's heart is ready or not. I just need to determine whether or not this seed has the power to change a life. And so, help me to be a seed sower today. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you, friends.